This is obviously Dark Legolas. To counter him, you have to pick a dwarf. Like Tristana, since with her jump, longer range late game, and throwback abilities really make Varys have a hard time laning and fighting. Sever, who can shield his poking attempts and gain mana from him, is also quite amazing, and Lucian will dash away from damage, and Varys will have no way of not eating his full burst. Misfortune, who can fully E him without a response, Vayne with her tumble to dodge arrows, and Ash, who can still stun him even when she's been ulted, make other good counters as well. Varys' passive makes him gain bonus attack speed whenever he kills a minion, and this bonus gets significantly increased upon enemy takedowns. His Q will first make him channel and increase the ability's range and damage before unleashing a skill shot arrow that deals the same damage to all targets it passes through. His W is a permanent passive that makes his autos deal bonus magic damage and also apply blight for 6 seconds, stacking up to 3 times. When he deals damage, this gets consumed and the damage is dealt per stack. His E makes him fire arrows to the ground and will deal damage on impact as well as slow enemies that walk through the grounded arrows and apply grievous wounds. Finally, his ultimate is a skill shot that will root an enemy as well as fully stack them with blight. If enemies don't get away from the initial rooted ally, then they too will be rooted and the same passive applies to further champions. This is quite the poke champion. The fact that he can queue through minions is quite the game changer when it comes to dodging. Dodge his piercing arrow pre-6 and then make it your priority to dodge his ults. As for spells, being an ADC you will most likely find him in the bot lane and so he'll be taking heal and flash. In terms of power spikes, like most AD carries, he will always be strong in the late game with lots of attack speed. His kit allows him to be quite the laning bully because of his long range and poke. If he hits level 3 first and has already poked you down to half HP, then you can easily expect an engage but it'll become really dangerous once he's finished building Ginzus, since he'll be stacking his W a lot quicker. Runons would also turn him into a killing machine in teamfights. If you're losing lane, get a QSS quickly to deny him his killing potential at least when laning. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, CC is the way to go towards getting ADCs down quickly, plus this one has absolutely no escapes rather than extra movement speed and move away from his ultimate's chain as it will not stop rooting people if you don't. Ultimately, have fun doing it.